Hello and welcome to Pocket Gamer's YouTube channel. I'm John Jordan, and the game we're looking at today is called Monster Sweeps Z, and it's a Korean game. The developer is called Salad Bowl, and the publisher is called um, 433. Uh, and as you can see, it's kind of um, has RPG elements. It has the kind of cutesy, kind of a uh, uh, anime kind of look, but a bit different to the Japanese stuff because it's Korean, a more, bit more westernized. And there's a lot going on in this game, so. Korean games are very, um, it's a free to play mobile game, Korean games are very about meta game and grinding and lots of different kind of things to do in the game when it comes to that. So let's, lots of things come, my char characters are jumping around, desperate to go on a raid, but let's see some other stuff. So we go up here to the top and there's currencies and, and fuels at the top, kind of energy systems, that's pretty standard. Let's have a look here, so there's my mailbox, so there's, wow, loads of stuff, I can claim medals and perks and goodness knows, so that makes me feel nice about playing the game. So it's a game that's very, oh, I've got an uncommon, whatever he is, Green Lord. I've claimed everything so I've got no mail now. Um, so my mail's not, not jumping up and down. I go here, so this is the ruby crate. I get rubies every 10 hours, I can close those too. Ruby's gone to my, this is a bit of an odd system, it's gone, to, I've gone back into my mailbox. I claim those, okay. So why do I want rubies? So I can go and go into the jackpot now. Have I got, I've got some keys, okay, cool. So. We can look here, um, jack, jackpot chest, so I can test my luck with a free daddy key, got two keys, um, which one should I open the middle one, see what I get. So I got another ruby, you can see rubies are the hard currency, so it's always good to have some of those, I've got one more key, let's try this one. Uh, what am I going to get here, I got a, some partnership points, so partnership points are another kind of, not kind of, not really currency resource, so you can see that at the top right, so that's when I partner up with other players, use one of their characters in my um, game, I get points for that, then I can use that for other things. You can see here the partner here, so these are the various partners, and some of them have sent me, um, or someone sent me a, a gift, that's nice, so you can send gifts to each other. Social ball, who's this friend? Invite my Facebook friends if I want to, um, this is my partner request, so he's uh, accept, I can accept them, I can go and search for people, there's kind of this, I don't know who these people are obviously, these are just kind of in game people. Um, what we care about characters, right? That's what we care about. So here's some characters. So we can see here. This is my team at the bottom, four of them, and all this kind of stuff here. It's kind of resort here. At least resources I've collected, so I can power up some of my team. Who should we power up? Um, power up. Her. I'm probably going to power them up with the wrong thing, but anyway, just for the sake of um, showing how power ups work. Uh, So the, the wrong get elements really, but anyway, just to show you, I've got enough money, I haven't even got money, can't do that. Okay, as you can see, it costs a certain amount to power things up. I um, haven't got any gold, much gold though. So, power her up. She's not going to go up to level 8, 8, 19, but there we go. So there's my characters, that's what I'm kind of doing with them. Also, you can see here, there's a bowl, if I get some materials to do that. I can, I mean, I can't, don't have the materials at the moment, as you can see, so I can't do that. I can sell them if I want to, there's... If I go further in the game, I can transcend and awake. Who can I summon? I can summon a stone. I haven't got any summon stones. So. Okay, so that's what's going on here. There's quests, there's shops. There's all, you can see all this kind of stuff that's feeding into the, what we call the meta game. What's the game? That's what we care about, isn't it? Or is it? So here we go. So this is my team. So this is the friend thing. I can go in, find a partner. I don't know who these people are, but I'm going to get part. I love him because I have 10 partnership points. And you can see here, the partner effect is going to increase my forest attack and my fire attack. My, my team is very fire-based. You can see at the top, this is 5 by 40%. I'm quite early in the game, so I'm going to have an easy difficulty game. This is my team's attack. I'm going to use up five uh, energies. Um, this is just uh, loading. Here we go. So this is kind of the crazy bit of the game. So this is I'm not touching the screen at all. So this is on autoplay. I can take it off autoplay and move them around with my finger. And I can even split them out if you want to. Kind of do this. Split them into two groups. Or I can just play auto. And the whole point of this game is really that you auto this kind of stuff. The big buttons around the outside. That's where you do the thing. So these are attacks. So this is from each character. Each has a kind of special attack, um, which does different things. So the mid cannon. See where that square is. That, that box. That was where it attacks. And now you can see I'm using them, and they're counting down. They they they're timed, so I can't use them again for that period of time. But um, in general, I'm just kind of collecting coins and collecting all these things. And I'm going to wait to get to the boss. So the boss is the one you really care about. So that you really want to whack in your your big attacks, get his health down to zero. 
uh, and this kind of funny little, um, I've got a key, there's a little dialogue between the characters. Obviously this was an easy mission, so we can see, oh, that's another game. Um, so I've got my key, I gained one of those guys, um, my, some guys are levelling up of their own accord, um, this is my gift, so I can send a gift, you see I got a gift last time, let's send him some gold or her some gold, don't know who they are. Okay. So that's kind of it. So it's inter interesting that what we would see in the West as being the main bit of the gameplay. This is kind of a shoot 'em up game almost. It's kind of on a on a kind of rails shoot 'em up. You can't move up and down the screen, but it's kind of a shoot 'em up game um, mixed with an RPG. But actually, the game I don't really have to do anything at all. I could actually do nothing at all and still at this because it's very early in the game and all the levels are easy. I could still play the game and not touch it at all. But it's all about what we call the meta game. All about leveling these guys up. All about earning, so it's going to cost me um, 40 gems. So it's going to tell me, do I want to do the ruby raffle? Let's go and do a ruby raffle. Here we go. So I pull down the little lever. It's kind of what they call a kind of a gacha system. So it's random. I don't know what the rewards are within a certain level. So he's a normal rare character. So it's not not particularly useful to me. But we can see his attack, and he's a water character. And we can see his skill, his tank invincibility. So another kind of part of the game is we're going to tank. So tank is the thing I'm sitting on. You can't really see it, but um, there's the different tanks I can unlock and I can power up my tanks. So you can see here, the different currency. This is medals. So I'm going to use up half my medals. My tank has increased as well. Level three tank now. So it's very interesting. And this, these kind of games are, you know, are super popular in Korea, Japan, China, that kind of you know, that Asian market. Uh, when they've been around for a long time, these free-to-play games where the game play is important, but less important than the meta game. And in the West, we've kind of been the other way around because we had um, focused much more on gameplay and, and progressing in gameplay. That's partly because in, in Asia, they'd be much more focused on free games in Korea. So in China, piracy is a big issue. So there's no point having big console games that cost $50 because $50 people just pirate them. So they'd be much more focused about giving the games away for free and then getting people to spend money in the game. Obviously, we can spend money in the game if we want to. I can go and buy, I can spend $60, pounds, $100, buying a gold pack and gets me all those gems and some jackpot keys and a, and a material so that would be used for kind of a, evolving my character and that's kind of how, they, how they're driving um, people to spend money by re being focused on this meta game and leveling up characters um, but I just like the game I think I find it kind of really maybe I'm getting old maybe it's just kind of really nice oh let's put a friend in um, to just go well it's fine I can have it running in the background I can maybe if I want to if I want to play, I can. You know, in a, in a, when the game gets a bit harder, um, maybe I'm going to want to actually kind of play. But actually, probably the tactical things I can do by just like, yeah, let's fire up some, some chain lightning, let's have some piercing fire, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Axe smash. That was in the wrong place. Oh, there we go. Um, that's kind of for me interesting, and maybe it's interesting because not all games are like this. So this is kind of a big contrast to the other games we tend to be playing. Um, but I think it's pretty interesting. Um, and it's free, obviously free to download, so available for iOS and Android. So it's the kind of thing that takes your fancy. It's definitely worth checking out um, new types of game, I think, um, and seeing if you enjoy them. Because if you don't check them out, you won't know if you enjoy them, will you? Um, so yeah, that, that's um, Monster Sweeps with a Z out now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we um, like to play free-to-play mobile games, and we like to do videos about the ones we think are really good. Occasionally the ones are really rubbish as well, but we try to be more positive. So um, thanks for watching. <laughs>